Hello everybody, my name is Nemo and I'm playing Collective Might, tier 1 deck in my opinion at least, so we'll have to see how it does, how we do, how we do, I'm gonna keep this hand, there's only 2 removal spells in my deck and I managed to grab one here, so I'm pretty happy with this hand, um, it's pretty, pretty good, we're playing against RLN1955 who is taking a mulligan, hopefully he doesn't like just quit because he can't get his... Alright, he keeps a 7 card hand, so I guess it wasn't as bad as I thought it was for him. For how long he, it took him to decide. Um, but you know, sometimes you have those kind of hands where you really need to think about it. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Collective Might is the most, you know, what the what the heck uh deck in the tier 1. I, I guess, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people are like, what? Why is... Why is Collective Mind in Tier 1? How? What? I don't get it. So this is definitely the deck I want to do some gameplay on. And hopefully I'll uh, I'll be able to get some other deck gameplay as well. But this is the one I wanted to show you most. Because I know, you know, it's it's the most underrated deck. Um, and I underrated myself too, you know. It, it makes sense to underrate it. And let's do this. I don't know why I'm doing this pre combat actually. But I know he, he can't remove it, because like, Prey Upon doesn't work if he doesn't have creatures, or whatever, so, since he's green. Um, yeah, I guess, I mean, if he has Sprout, that's that's the thing. If he has Sprout, then now I can trample. You know, nah, whatever. <laughs> I guess that was the, uh, the thinking there. Honestly, there wasn't much thinking going on there. <laughs> but hey, we'll pretend. Um... Alright, so here we've got this classic scenario, like, how am I gonna get the most damage in there? As fast as possible that I have with this deck a lot. Um, this would be 4 plus 3, 7 damage already. If I drop land in Armor Guard now, I'd rather just drop uh, Hero Blade all this turn now. And if I was holding like Overrun, I might just play this to get uh, my guy, my mana fixing guy, the uh, Pathfinder or whatever his name is. Wayfinder, Civic Wayfinder, that's it. I would have gotten that with Eladomri Skull if I needed the forest, but I don't really. Um, can't Im imagine much he can do here. Uh, that can't even block your old blade, old wow. Um, Alright. Alright. Let's get in there. Play that for some extra damages. It doesn't buff the guys that come from Hero, Hero of Blade Old, and that makes it a little bit of an... You know, this isn't the best guy here, but he he does the job. Um, he's basically an extra copy of... Uh, wow, he's dead. <laughs> well, basically, yeah, he, he's, he's good enough, is what it comes down to, and even if they kill him immediately, he's still uh, given uh, my guys plus one, plus one, so that's, you know... That's decent. Uh, we'll play a different deck now. Maybe if I have time, I'll play another game with Collective Might because that was a, a short game. But um, we'll we'll keep it moving and go to the next deck now. Um, so we all right. Welcome back. What a end. <laughs> Way better. All right. So again, just a little bit of blue is needed. I don't need double blue. But I basically got all the color I need either way, but, you know, the white is more important to me, definitely. And if I don't have a blue spell yet, there's no need to even play the, play the island. Let him think I'm playing mono white, why not? Alright. Be that guy. Be that guy who pops his evolving wilds as I'm resolving my spell. Be that guy, fine. <laughs> um, so he's playing Collective Might, interesting. I just played Collective Might myself, but he's playing the bad version of Collective Might. Yay. <laughs> um, well, that's pretty nice. Do I start drawing cards off of Pariah yet? I guess I might as well, because this thing can't kill itself, so I can Pariah that and then... Maybe later on get indestructibility. 
No, actually, you know what? I'm playing the other Spirit Dancer. <laughs> Why not? Like, I, I'll be able to draw more cards off of it, so that seems better. Just uh, slow, take it a little bit slowly, but... Um, Guardian Seraph is going to be pretty good against him if he gets a lot of tokens out. Although, usually that deck doesn't even get a lot of tokens out, at least not... Yeah. Um, that thing won't be able to hurt me, at least. And I'll block, because there's no one mana. Alright, yeah, he won't even attack, because he knows I know. So... <laughs> I gotta remember he has that ability, I guess. I guess. Um, I think I just play Pariah here. I, I know it's an amazing card, and good to keep ready and stuff, but... I'll play it on that thing, because he can't sacrifice it. Land, land. That's good. No! And say go. Alright, so at least I've got the lands to be able to play my 6-drop here. And he's gonna make a dude. Making dudes, making dude. Um, if anything, this is just going to delay him. Because he doesn't want to pop this guy early. Because he wants to go crazy with it and make a lot of guys. And, you know basically use a very bad strategy um, and that means he might not even attack me here and try and get rid of the pry and that just slows him down if he does that so all that will be good um, and if he doesn't then later on I can flick a whisper pariah onto something more u more useful for him um, okay I guess he does get rid of the pariah here, unless I jump block, which I don't want to do. Alright, so. He kills his own guy, that's fine. It's a little bit, like, that's why I didn't want to use pariah early, but, you know, just one option. This deck has more options, so. It's not horrible or anything. Um, do I want to play more, because I have this Winds of Wrath now. <laughs> um, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I think I just want to slow roll this. But, you know, and get an enchantment on my guys. I don't have enchantments in my hand, though. That's the only thing. And I definitely don't want to kill these guys. Well, I'll, I'll wait one turn. You know, just see what's, see what's up. What I'll draw. Maybe I'll draw an enchantment. Maybe I'll play that enchantment, draw another enchantment off of it, and play it on the other guy. And then I'll be able to save both from my own Winds of Wrath. Still kill all his dudes, you know? Things like that. He's not really putting up much of a fight just yet, so... And I don't want to play a Flyer, because he can just pop this thing and kill it. Um, great, something I want to kill with Winds of Wrath. Um, I want to draw an enchantment. So my own Spirit Dancers won't die to Winds of Wrath. I'll take five. I don't want to take five, but... Mm. Wow. Alright, well, at least I have another Spirit Dancer now. And I guess I do have to play Winds of Wrath here just to make... Just to be safe. Because he could very well be going quite crazy here. Yep. I don't have enchantments, so... At least I have another... Another Spirit Dancer. You know, that's good. So, I guess I could jump block then. But I didn't know. <laughs> In hindsight, it would have been useful to jump block, because then I wouldn't have taken all that damage. Since I was going to Winds of Wrath anyway, but I just wanted to see if I draw an enchantment. And I don't think the 5 damage is going to matter in the long run. Um, I wonder what he's thinking about now, though. At least this way also I get rid of his Elvish Skysweeper, which would be annoying for two of my creatures here. Uh, Marshall's Anthem. He doesn't. Alright, well he can Marshall's Anthem the Wild Leaf Leash, which I expect him to do, I guess. Um, Sun Titan can get back Pariah. Hmm. That's good. I also kind of want Flicker Wisp to be on the board when I play Sun Titan. 
All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna play this guy and uh, Flicko is doesn't hit anything just yet, but it's gonna come out anyway. Just because I want Flicko Wisp on the board right now. Alright. We're gonna go kinda crazy. <laughs> um, Guardian Seraph is gonna be huge against uh, all those tokens he, he's gonna make, by the way. Yeah. Alright. Come on. Alright. Block. Flick a wisp. That's gonna die. That's good. I want it to die. I want Flick a wisp in the graveyard here. And. This Sun Titan. Which gets back. Flick a wisp. Which targets. Sun Titan. Gonna say go. End step. Ooh, look at that. Sun Titan comes out. I will play Pariah on your end queen. Go. That's I, I love Flick Wisp with Sun Titan. <laughs> nice combination there. All right, and now I can start um, start winning. Now that I've secured my lot, not losing, I can start winning, you know. Hmm. Hmm. So, I'm definitely just attacking with Sun Titan next turn. Um, so I'll play Sovereigns, attack with Sun Titan, that'll get like, I don't know, in unblockable or something. For Sun Titan, um, yeah, I guess Unblockable would be the best aura. Um, mage Mark, I don't, yeah, one of those Mage Marks, it's one of the Mage Marks. Um, there's only one in the deck, but there, there's a lot in total. Um, I wonder what trickery he has here. He doesn't have like two buff spells, does he? Let's kill off what I can. And this can get back uh, Flicker Wisp again. Although now it's less useful to um, to enchant the Sun Titan. So I guess instead I'll play Guardian Seraph then. Yep, getting back um, Ant Queen. So he wanted to kill his own Ant Queen so he could then get it back with Marshall's Anthem. But what he doesn't realize is like I can do this again. <laughs> I can get back Pariah again. Like what? Why don't you realize about that? Um, but now it's a 6-6 six, six, though. Um, Alright, so maybe... Yeah, I won't flick away my Sun Titan now. Okay, that's the, that's the difference. So Sovereigns is gonna... Because I don't want him to like trade with Sun Titan. So I need to make my Sun Titan bigger. And that's gonna get Pariah. Which is going on his end queen again. Make this a 7-7. Seven, seven. And indestructibility. Makes the most sense, right? Um, yeah, it's just indestructibility. Okay, so now he can't kill my Sun Titan. I can uh, gain advantage of this every turn. Um, although he, yeah, I guess he just blocks with the end queen then. Get rid of Pariah so he can attack me, but yeah, hmm. I guess I should have then gotten uh, unblockable so he couldn't block me with the ancient, the end queen, because I actually wanted his end queen to live now. Um, strange as that may sound. And that was fireworks. I don't know, <laughs> some some noise outside. So, yeah, he doesn't even bring it. If I was you, I would want my Ant Queen to die. But, I'm not you. Um, I'm gonna get Lifelink. 
Although, you know, this is great with Pariah. Hmm. I don't think he'll let his end queen live another turn. So let's just get lifelink. It's a little bit more. It's a little safer. There. I'll draw a card. Oh yeah, I have this guy too. <laughs> Almost forgot about it. And I'll drop my land. I'll attack. I'll get... Um... Do I need Flicker with Spear? And... What would I want Flicker with for? Not, not a lot of purposes right now. Uh, so I'll just get a Spear Dancer. I could have Flicker with the Totem Guide, Heart of Beast. That's decent. I can do that next turn though. Right, so I'll make my guy unblockable here. Infiltrator's Mage Mark. So you can't you like jump block it and say continue. Okay, so next turn I get Flicker Wisp when I attack with Sun Titan. Flicker Wisp then targets Totem Guide Heart to Beast. And Totem Guide Heart to And the reason I'm not targeting Sun Titan with Flicker Wisp is because I don't want these auras to fall off now. Um, but Totem Guide Heart to Beast then gets Indestructibility. And then I play Indestructibility on this guy. And there's no way he can actually kill me unless, like, he draws Swords of Plowshares, which his deck only runs two of. And then he, even then, he has to Swords his own guy, although he does gain life off that, so. Hmm. Do I even need to do all of that, though? That's the question. I'm holding three cards. I could be holding... I'm, I'm holding four cards next turn. Uh, I'll attack. I get Exalted. Which puts me to 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, no, I got a better idea. Like, I can kill him next turn. So. Hmm. I can kill him next turn with the Sun Titan. Just don't play anything. That's it. But I guess I might as well do this. Because, just, you know, why not? Okay, he doesn't even have swords open now. So, he can, he, I, I'm pretty, I'm just actually sure I, I'll kill him next turn. But, you know. Let's go. There becomes an 8-8. I guess I just flick always be this thing anyway. Why not? But he's dead before it matters, so. Comes an 8-8 and plus 4 plus 4 from Imperial Armor. So now it's a 12-12 and it hits him for 12 and he's dead. That is how you win with 4 ass servants. <laughs> oh man. Or our servants. You so cray cray. You so crazy. GG. Not so much for me. Well, it was for me. <laughs> you know, this deck is ridiculous. <laughs> Basically. Well, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Um, I think that'll do it. I mean, the other tier 1 decks, I'm pretty sure you all know how amazing they are. So, there's not a lot of point in showing you that in gameplay and the video is long enough. So, yeah. Um, that'll do it for me. My name's been Nemo, my name will still be Nemo next time. I hope you enjoyed, and um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.